So emotional and true, top 5 famous celebrities that made their fans weep, news of the week, you missed. They used to believe in the world could love and the God we cannot see in conscience. Some people have lost all hope in this world because of doings in the so-called new generation, born with hate, jealousy, envy and above all disrespect to mankind. What is 1 Corinthians 13 from verse 2 in respect to what happened this week? 1 Corinthians 13 from verse 2 with God, all things are possible. And if I have the gift of prophecy and speak a new message from God to the people and understand all mysteries and possess all knowledge, and if I have all sufficient faith so that I can remove mountains but do not have love reaching out to others, I am nothing. Prophet Jeremiah of Motofofi and Zubi Michael and many more have shown the good and evil in the world of today. Watch. <music> One Sylvester Oromoni dies of acid ingestion. The death of Sylvester Oromoni Jr. in the Lakey area of Lagos State became public knowledge after a family member, the identified as Perry, posted about the incident on Twitter. Using his Twitter handle, Perry Sin Oromoni, he claimed that before his cousin died, he identified five puppies whom forcefully gave him acid to drink because he refused to be a member of well known confraternity in the school. He wrote, and I quote, This is Sylvester Oromoni, my 12 years old cousin, that was beaten to death at a boarding school in Lagos that cost over 1 million. They called my uncle that he wasn't well, so he went there, took him and admitted him to a hospital in Warri. That is where he passed on, but confessed that they tried blending him into a cult. Doing college is a disgrace, he said. He mentioned five names before passing on. The truth is not yet confirmed if the school management is hiding something from the parents. To claim Ohameze whips as Prophet Jeremiah Fofin gives him 8 million for surgery. Veteran Nollywood actor claim Ohameze shed tears as he received a cash gift of 8 million naira from Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fofin of Christ's Messiland Deliverance Ministry for his surgery. This is coming after claim Ohameze called on Nigerians to pray for him as he prepares to undergo surgery. In a video, the actor said his health challenges started after he had a car accident some time ago. The movie star also disclosed that after the incident, he had visited the hospital where an X-ray was conducted for him to ascertain the extent of injuries sustained. According to him, the result of the X-ray showed that his cervical vertebra 3 had collapsed on the 4th, thereby causing pressure on his spinal cord and a retirement of the lower limb. Ohameze said he was treated for a while and he got better. He, however, said he noticed that he started having difficulty walking later. This leads to the second scan. He was told that he would have to undergo a procedural surgery to separate the cervical vertebra 3 from 4 to free the spinal cord permanently. After they showed me the procedure and how it's been done, I was scared. I was told that they are going to cut open the neck and physically separate the cervical vertebra three from four and then use an iron plate to plate it with some screws so it can remain permanent, he said. His prayers was immediately answered as a famous man of God came to his first financial rescue, a non-refundable cash gift of 8 million naira from Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Forfin of Christ's Messiland Deliverance Ministry for his surgery. 3. Isaac Fred and your sight restored Isaac Fred Anyo's life is a testimony. He was on the verge of losing his sight at one point, but mother's love and care for their child is beyond measure. He's now well known across Nigeria and beyond. Many people think Isaac Fred Anyo was born into a rich family, but this is not the case. The child had to have a serious eye problem before becoming famous. His parents were unable to gather the required money and he needed surgery. However, as if Fred Anyo's world was changed by someone that many of us were called an angel. Several years ago, while Zubi Michael was working on a movie set, a woman approached him with her son and begged for donations because 
her son needed surgery for a night problem. Zubi Michael was moved by the way the ladies offered herself to get the money for the boy's surgery. Today, the boy he ended up saving from blindness years back is making headlines in Nollywood, of which he is indeed proud of. Thanks to Zubi Michael's generosity, Isaac is now a celebrity. Perhaps no one would have known about Isaac if Zubi Michael had done nothing to help his mom when she pleaded for assistance. Isaac will be forever thankful to Zubi Michael, who he considered an uncle, dad, and a father in the world. 4. The Controversy of Wadume and Oyo Magnet Baba Jide narrated Wadume's story while discussing Sylvester Oromoni's death during his interview on TVC News. Prominent Nigerians and civil society organizations have continued to call for investigations into the circumstances of Sylvester Oromoni's death. Nigerians are demanding that Sylvester's case should come to a logical end. We just taken eight cares, Wajide has since recalled another case that should not be swept under the carpet. During his interview on TVC News, Wajide said we hope to get somewhere vital on Sylvester's case, but you cannot bet on it in this country. Wadume escaped the other day. Wadume did not carry out his activities alone, but is he on trial with his accomplice? Security officers got killed while serving the country. Narrating Wadume's story, Babajide said Wadume kidnapped an oil magnet and collected 100 million ransom. Wadume also got hold of the victim's bank details and emptied his account before taking his life. Wadume should have been jailed by now. However, he may never go to jail. He did not do it alone as he mentioned the name of his accomplice while giving a statement. A country cannot progress if justice is rare for the poor. Justice should not be for the highest bidder. Hello Newsweek on the wave. Don't fail to subscribe because you will be updated on the most important news you missed this week. Hello, it's your boy Naji. See you in my next video on Saturday next week. I remain your humble boy Najidano and you are highly welcome to Najesty.